many of which ask for the measure to be vetoed. I think it's important not only asking for their, the opinions of the public on why they want it vetoed or not, but why. At the same time, Cabo says he also wanted to get the facts on Bill 19 from his legal team because of all the confusion on what Bill 19 does and does not do. If you have folks in one hand that are anti-gambling, say they want it vetoed, and then you have folks that uh, are pro-gambling or pro-gaming, uh, and they're telling you that they want to veto, uh, then obviously there is some confusion. Cabo says the measure is less a gambling bill, but more a taxing bill. So what does it do? According to legal counsel Sandra Miller, Bill 19 taxes current existing nonprofit bingo, lottery, cockfighting, carnival gaming, pinball, kitty rides, coin-operated children's video games, video horse greyhound racing, and symbolic amusement devices, all of which are currently legal and operating on Guam. It further uses the extra taxes to fund sports facilities and activities throughout the villages, to operate urgent care activities at the Guam Memorial Hospital, and to pay for GMH operations and debts. As far as I'm concerned, as long as we, we weigh the benefits, weigh the costs, uh, and then from there, uh, a determination will be made. As for what the bill does not do, Calvo's legal counsel determined that Bill 19 does not legalize casino gambling, poker machines, or slot machines. It does not do away with current nonprofit bingo, lottery, cockfighting, or other activities already deemed legal and operating on Guam. And while the bill purports to have a sunset provision, the governor's office notes this provision was only contingent upon an appendix that was not attached. Calvo says he hopes this legal summary will help clear up any confusion. Obviously, this has been an issue that has, uh, that has brought a lot of, uh, how would you say, input and a lot of emotion to the, from the public. Uh, but then in the end, uh, what I'm hopeful for that the public will understand that whatever decision is rendered, uh, it will be to the best interest uh, of our hospital, which I think is, is paramount, uh, and in the best interest of the people of Guam. Other facts about Bill 19, it creates a limited gaming tax fund by taxing 4% on gross receipts from limited gaming activities authorized pursuant to statute. It further creates the GMHA Healthcare Trust and Development Fund, which is financed through licensing fees, business privilege tax, and income taxes from companies involved in gaming under the gaming rules and regs such as Liberty, Symbolics, and Match Play Gaming devices. While the Attorney General's office has disagreed with this provision, legal counsel reiterates that only those gaming devices registered prior to August 1, 2001 are allowed to be licensed. The GMHA fund is further funded by a special 4% assessment fee on income from gaming devices. Governor Eddie Cavill has until July 8 to take action on the measure. To read the full legal summary, log on to our website. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.